The movie opens by showing the earthquake disaster, which destroyed hundreds of high-rise buildings in one area of South Korea. Of the hundreds of buildings destroyed there is only one apartment building that still stands firmly. We'll call the apartment by the name of Hwangun Apartment. That day we see the residents of Hwangun Apartment, a couple named Min Sung and Myung Hwa. They both seem to be collecting the foodstuffs they have, to calculate the estimation of how long they can survive. While waiting for help, Many people from outside Huangan apartment temporarily evacuate, because the situation outside the building is very cold. One night, a mother knocked on Min Sun's apartment and asked for permission to let her cold child sleep inside. Min Sun didn't seem to give permission at first, but his wife Mian Hua was kind enough to let them in. Min Sun is a civil servant, while Mian Hua is a nurse. Because of this, Mian Hua has a high sense of solidarity and always wants to help people who are weak. The next day help still hadn't arrived, and the apartment dwellers began to run out of their food and drink stocks. The dwindling food stocks made the apartment dwellers begin to argue with people from outside the apartment because they felt that these people were only a burden to the residents. The next day, Min Sun and Mian Hua were surprised to see a man who was wounded in the abdomen. Then when Mian Hua tried to save the man, suddenly there was a fire in one of the units of Huangun apartment. People started to panic, but a man named Yom Tak bravely jumped into the fire to put out the fire. Young tax action mayor resident of the apartment named Chimney feel very grateful, because if without Young tax help, then the entire Huangan apartment might have been burned down. Young Tak turned out to be a resident of Huangan apartment from room number 902. He is known to live with his old mother, and is unable to do anything. After that, the residents of Huangan apartment held an emergency meeting. In the meeting they discussed about the man who was injured earlier, so the man turned out to be stabbed by people from outside Huangan apartment, because the man tried to evict them from his apartment. The testimony also made the residents start to worry about the existence of outsiders. Their existence was considered to be a burden for the residents, because the food and water stock was divided into quite a lot of people. As a result, some of them also proposed to evict people who were not residents of the apartment. Before doing so, they of course needed a leader to become the front guard, and they all agreed to choose Yom Tak as the leader of the residents of Wanguk apartment. After going through the voting process, the residents agreed to evict the outsiders, tomorrow morning. The decision was actually strongly opposed by Mian Hua. He could not bear to see people having to be evicted, especially at this time. In his apartment there was a mother and her child who needed their help. The scene switches slightly to show Min Sun on the day of the earthquake. When he was saving a woman who was crushed by a container car, but unfortunately he was forced to leave the woman, in order to save his own life. The next day, Jimmy announces to everyone who is not a resident of Huangan apartment, to get out of the apartment immediately. Outside people are confused and wondering why the residents kicked them out. Yong Tak as the leader, brought the male residents with their respective weapons, and announced that, people who are not residents of Huangan apartment are now allowed to enter the apartment area. Everyone did not accept, because in this condition, 
they should work together to survive, if they are not allowed to enter the apartment, then they will certainly die of hunger and cold out there. The angry people finally try to break into the apartment, but the residents try to block them, the chaos ensued, until Yong Tak was injured from being hit by outsiders. After his head was hit twice until it bled, Yong Tak did not flinch at all, he still stood tall to repel the outsiders, followed by the residents who began to throw the outsiders, until they finally left. Yong Tak's courage and sacrifice made the residents respect him even more. Since that day, the residents began to unite, all residents compactly divide their respective tasks, from forming an anti-crime task force group, organizing a fair distribution of limited resources, forming a maintenance task force, forming a team of medical personnel, to managing their excrement very well. Everything is organized in such a way, so that the residents can survive well, until help arrives so far everything is running smoothly under the leadership of Yong Tak. But about how long can they survive, every day Yong Tak leads all men ranging in age from 16 to 60 years, around looking for food around the place, amid the ruins of the building, they manage to get some food and water. But of course, day by day the food and water they get becomes less and less, not infrequently young tax group has to go home empty-handed. One night, Mian Hua was surprised by the existence of the child and mother who had previously stayed in her apartment unit. It turns out that now they are still alive and are in the apartment area. Unexpectedly a man named Do Kyun, it turns out that he secretly saved several outsiders, including the mother and child. Mian Hua who knew about it, felt very relieved, since then, he has secretly often distributed food for them, by delivering it to Do Kyun's room. At the same time, Yom Tak and his team, managed to find a source of food in a place, when they were about to enter. A man suddenly came out and pointed a gun at one of Yon Tak's members, namely Chemia's son named Chihyuk. Apparently the place was the man's shop, and he tried to defend the shop, because it was the only source of food for him and his family. But Min Sun, who had been checking the back, tried to save Chihyuk, so Yong Tak seized the opportunity to beat the man unconscious. Here we see that the residents had the art to seize the man's shop and leave him lying there. But there was the man's wife and child who were still in dire need of food. Deep down, Min Sun felt bad for the family, but what the hell? He and the other tenants were also in dire need of a source of food. In the evening, the residents of the apartment celebrated what they got today, as well as celebrating the new year, with great joy. In the midst of everyone's happiness, Mian Hua actually showed a different expression, somehow he felt something was wrong with their gathering, especially to Yom Tak. Soon after, they were surprised by the arrival of a girl named Huan, who claimed to live in one of the Oingan apartment units. Jimmy, who has the data of the residence, confirmed that fact, where Huan previously lived with his mother, but it seems that only he managed to survive, his unit happened to be right next to Yon Tak's apartment unit. The scene then switches to show Yong Tak, just before the earthquake disaster, Surprisingly, the person who has been regarded as Yom Tak by the residents turns out to be a taxi driver named Mosbaum. So where is the real Yom Tak? That day, Mosbaum met the real Yom Tak at Hoingen apartment to collect some money. Yom Tak was accused of conspiring with a fraudster, which caused Mosbaum to lose all his savings. 
Yong Tak tried to deny all the accusations, because he also did not get a penny. Mos Bom was angry, and asked Yong Tak to give up his apartment unit as compensation. As a result, a fight broke out between the two of them, but Mos Bom went so far that the fight ended with Yong Tak's tragic death, in front of his mother who could do nothing. Mos Bom's world is instantly shattered, he doesn't know what to do, especially when he hears a call from Yon Tak's wife and daughter who are visited by debt collectors. Coming like an answer, the earthquake disaster finally occurs. Mos Bom who has no hope of survival, finally survives in the Hoingan apartment. And living under the identity of Yon Tak, until now, no one knew that fact. But Mos Bom was quite worried about Huan's arrival, his unit was right next to Yon Tak's apartment unit, so there was a possibility that he knew the real Yon Tak, because he felt uneasy. Mos Bom went to meet Huan at his apartment. There Mos Bom asked Huan several things, to make sure that Huan did not know the real Yon Tak. When he found out that Huan knew Yon Tak's mother, Mos Bom threatened him a little so that Huan confirmed that he was Yong Tak, who lived in the next unit, Huan was. Depressed because he seemed to know something, and finally, he revealed to Mian Hua, that Mos Bom was not Yong Tak his neighbor. Suddenly there was a scream from a resident. In front of Huangan apartment, the body of a resident was found, who was suspected to have been killed by outsiders, as a form of revenge. As a result of this, Mos Bom ordered everyone, to strengthen the guard, and keep an eye on anyone who enters, and leaves Huangan apartment. In the evening, Mos Bom immediately brought several people, to raid Do Kin's apartment unit, he had long suspected Do Kin's movements, so he already knew, about several outsiders hidden in the apartment unit. The outsiders were immediately paraded and forced out of the apartment. Do Kian was also finally arrested because he was considered a traitor. And inevitably Mian Hua was also dragged into the matter. Min Sun who found out was immediately furious at Mian Hua. He certainly did not want his wife to get hurt because she was considered a traitor, but Mian Hua tried to convince Min Sun that the Yong Tak who was leading them at this time was not the real Yong Tak, and Myona knew that fact from Huan. Min Sun didn't believe what his wife said, because he trusted their leader more than a girl of unknown origin. For now, Min Sun's priority was the safety of both of them, because if they got kicked out of the apartment, then both of them would die. For the sake of his and his wife's safety, Min Sun knelt before Mice Bomb, he begged his wife to be forgiven, and he promised to try harder, for a Huangan apartment. Mice Bomb then ordered Min Sun and some of the residents to comb through each apartment unit, and kick out anyone who was not part of the residence. Mice Bomb's influence changed Min Sun, from a loving and gentle husband to a rude and cruel person. The outsiders who had been arrested were tied up and displayed in front of the tenants, all of whom were asked to say, I was wrong 200 times. Suddenly, Do Kin shouted from upstairs, saying he was fed up with the leader and the tenants, who were worse than wild animals. The state of the world should have made them realize the meaning of unity, instead of hunting each other down. After his words, Do Kin jumped from the top floor, and died in front of all the residents, especially Mian Hua. All the residents did not seem to care about Do Kin's death, all of Do Kin's words, did not make any impression, so they just burned his body. After that, the residents were suddenly surprised by the sound of explosions in several places, 
and one of the explosions destroyed the water pipe, so the residents got a clean water source. In the midst of the euphoria of the residents, Mian Hua asked about the real Yong Tak to Huan. Huan admitted to remembering the face of the real Yong Tak because he had previously delivered packages for Yong Tak from that suspicion. The two also entered Yong Tak's apartment by breaking the wall. After successfully entering, the two immediately searched Yong Tak's apartment unit. There were no photos or any data that they found because maybe the mice bomb had already removed everything. After checking every corner of the apartment, Myanhua and Huan finally found Yong Tak's body hidden in the washing machine. Meanwhile, at the same time, the mice bomb brought the residents to go looking for food. After searching far enough, they found a food source hidden behind the ruins, because no one dared to enter. Min Sun was sent as a volunteer to check the place. Slowly Min Sun crawled on the bodies of the dead people who were crushed by the ruins. Fortunately Min Sun's struggle did not end in vain, because he finally found a food source under the ruins. On the way back to the apartment, Min Sun and the residents were suddenly attacked by a group of people. Luckily, Min Sun and the others managed to survive the attack, but the lives of Ji Hyuk and some of the residents could not be saved. Arriving at the Huangan apartment, Jimmy blamed everyone for the death of his son. In the midst of the commotion, Myanga came out and revealed the facts about Mice Bomb's identity. Everyone was shocked to see that the real Yang Tax corpse had rotted due to the actions of the person they had trusted as the leader. According to the rules they made, Mice Bomb had no right to be there, so he was expelled like other outsiders. Mice Bomb was frustrated and went on a rampage after the truth was revealed. He who from the beginning had tried his best for the residents, did not accept if he had to be expelled. He started to go crazy and chased Huan. Then Huan's body was dragged and thrown into the sewage disposal site. Everyone, especially Mian Hua, was very surprised to see what Mice Bomb did. Then Min Sun came out with a gun and pointed it at Mice Bomb. Right then, the outsiders who had been holding a grudge against the residents came to invade Huangan apartment. There was chaos between them until there were so many people who ended up dead. Who would have thought, the Hoinkan apartment that was defended with difficulty ended up like this. It all happened because the residents from the beginning had ignited problems with outsiders, not realizing that it would backfire on them in the future. Mian Hua and Min Sun who managed to escape hiding in a place. Mian Hua just realized that Min Sun had been injured, and he began to bleed out. The couple tried to strengthen each other, until one morning, Min Sun died. <laughs> After that Mian Hua was found by a group that was looking for food, he joined the group, and lived in the remains of a building that could still be occupied. And the movie was finally finished. So that's it guys the whole storyline of the movie Concrete Utopia, hopefully friends understand the storyline this time, and see you in the next storyline.